Um, all right, let's also talk about, again, my intro is very full with stuff that I know a lot of people haven't talked about, but I think really matters and is bubbling away, including the plan for a national gun register. Now, every time you start talking about gun ownership, people in the city start to go, mate, what are you on about? But anyone, of course, in peri-urban or outer urban areas or regional Australia knows that it is a tool. It is no different than the, dare I say, uh, iPhone or a hammer in terms of in the hands of a responsible person who knows what they're doing. The problem in Australia for a long time has been illegal guns. There's about 150,000 illegal guns apparently in Australia. There were attempts, remember, to make it a mandatory jail term to import guns into the country. But the very people that now want to set up even greater restrictions on legal firearms owners, the Labor Party, voted against that in opposition. They didn't want to do anything about illegal guns, but no, here we go again. Let's crack down on all those lunatics with a shoddy in the bush, Matt. Well, yeah, Paul, this is a classic knee-jerk response from uh, governments. I mean, uh, I think the idea of a national gun register has some merit, but uh, it's being rushed into place in response to a tragedy that occurred uh, in Wollombilla uh, a few months ago. Uh, there's no suggestion, though, that somehow a national register would have stopped this, this tragic event. Uh, there is already a register of guns in Queensland, and... Uh, these individuals were in Queensland the whole time that these, these issues were arising and, and uh, the register didn't stop it. So it's not going to do that necessarily. Uh, and I just want to take this a slightly different way too, Paul. Uh, I, I recognise we have, should have strict laws on who owns and uh, can operate and licence to operate guns. But at the same time, if we're spending $360 billion on nuclear subs and we are somehow worried that uh, we could face a threat in the future, it's also important that we do uh, train some people to be able to use firearms, as Ukraine has found out in the last few years. And we have a situation now we've so demonised gun ownership where I, I met with the sporting shooters industry the other day and the banks, a lot of the banks are debanking gun shops uh, and gun distributors and not even allowing them to supply ammunition. This will affect our defence force as well, because they also supply a defence force. And just how 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 off track we've become uh, when our own banks are making decisions like this, which are potentially affect our national security. They don't even talk to the Defence Department. Uh, they just simply make a decision which they think, uh, once again, signals their non-existent virtue, uh, but ends up rebounding on the rest of the country and weakening us all. Yeah, bloody oath. Uh, mm -hmm. Last one here. I've got to say, look, I, I disagree ever so slightly, though, about uh, training people up just in case Ukraine comes, but I get your point uh, wider about the, the responsible use of, of, of guns. Last one here, Corey. Will you be up in the middle of the night watching everything to do with Trump or you'll, like most people, uh, wake up tomorrow and roll your eyes? Are you going to be an all-nighter tonight? You know what, I was an all-nighter last night because I thought it was last night that he was lobbing up in New York. So I'm, I, I, just you know what, I probably will wake up and just flick it on, mate. I was all over the joint. So um, yeah. I, I will. I'm absolutely fascinated by this because I think it is a turning point for America, right? Whether you like Donald Trump or not, I think this is one of the most outrageous acts of political bastardry uh, that we have seen, and it's the stuff of Banana Republic, so it really worries me, but I'm fascinated by it. Lads, appreciate it. We'll talk to you all again very soon.